It has to be even overhang either side. Don't agree. I agree. That's Don't. exactly what I'm saying. I, I agree, agree with yourself. I, I agree with me. I'm really tired. I'm Lucy. And I'm Jono. And this is Reno Goals. Kitchen makeover time. Mm. It's a big one. It is a very big one. <laughs> but one of the most important rooms in the house. So the kitchen. Oh, many a good meal has been made in this kitchen. Uh, look, this is a good size kitchen. The one thing I would say though is that there's probably not enough bench space or storage. And also, can I show you this? Jono, question. Have you ever sat on this bar stool? Have you ever seen anyone sit on this bar stool? And why does no one sit here? There's like never any space for one. I think it's too high and there's always stuff here. Right. So this is not an inviting space. So I want, I like this idea. I think I this is a- kill it. No, I think I want kill it, it to be decided. Okay, we don't know yet. This is not necessary, this kind of ledge. It just doesn't need to happen. I think we should create all one surface so we get a really nice, generous, island bench because that way it could be multi-purpose we could have it as a seating area as well as a prep area how old school i mean we all know these cupboards right how old school are these cupboards with these little push oh my god the only thing is they're really deep you fit heaps in them you're being sarcastic yeah they're like less than my hand depth what is that <laughs> so anyway, we need to sort this out because the fridge sticks out. I think it'd be great to put appliances away. Like we just need to clean it up. What's the one thing that I can't stand in this kitchen? This is like the most annoying thing. I feel bad because this is your parents' house. So I don't want to offend anyone. However, this is just stupid, okay? Because you've got this small oven for one and then you're constantly having to go in here to your cooktop and you hit your head on the shelf. The amount of times I've smashed my forehead on this thing, I hate this shelf. I hate this shelf so much. Okay, well, we'll have to fix it. So let's fix it. Up or get rid of it. I don't know, but it needs to go. Your dad said to me, I like the yellow. There's nothing wrong with this oven. Don't change it. Um, sorry, I used the oven last night. <laughs> and none of the settings on the left-hand side of the dial work. Oh. So there's heaps wrong with the oven. And if you put your veggies in, it burns the right side of your tray and doesn't cook the left. Yeah. So I guess you're not a fan of the kitchen. <laughs> no, it needs a big upgrade and I can't wait to get new appliances. We need them like yesterday. Well, I want to add way more storage and I also cannot wait to get rid of that yellow. Yellow needs to go. Mm -hmm. All the cabinets need to go. It's mm -hmm. a full gut job. And I'm just going to open up that oven a little bit, get a full size one in there and stop the head banging issue. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it. Muttering. What's your plan? <laughs> Muttering to myself. Kitchen, cabinetry, ooh, joinery. Come join me, Jono, we're talking joinery. So, here's the concept. We're gonna have a nice, flush, new storage system along this wall. We've chosen a very large fridge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it goes very deep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're gonna, yeah, we've got a little bit of trickery in the wall to steal 100 mil. So that means it'll come out to here, 800. So what I'm gonna do is put a little filler panel. I wanna probably have a pull out basket here. This is our big ass fridge space. Over here, I've now mapped it out. So this area from here to here, I'm gonna increase bench space. So this is gonna be a little prep area, a nice pretty space and our top cabinets are gonna run all the way to the roof. That's gonna be here, it's gonna be beautiful. I'm keeping this L shape but making it way more epic. Ditching this thing, hate it, it's going. 
getting it out and it's gonna be nice and open and flush. And essentially, same concept, just way better, more epic, more just functional space. And you requested, Jono, how many bins did you request? Four, four full-size bins. So I have gone The council's through. gone and done us a, a service, maybe? A misservice? Well, I guess it's They've good. given us four bins now. So we have BOGO, recycling, glass, landfill. So, so we might as well separate it inside before it has to go outside and be separated again. Did you know that you have to actually remove lids and separate lids? So the glass bin is literally glass only. And sometimes you, you have to wash them. You get four bins, you don't get anything else. I don't, that's no. my, I'm stopping at the design. Who well, actually executes where they go. the recycling? That's not up to me, okay? And then over here, um, you've managed to make this a little bit wider. You didn't have a lot of room to play with, but you've done very well, Jono, well done. We had to just move that door 100 mil. Yes, you did. So that actually works really, really well. Happy days, it's gonna be good. Did you keep, you kept this, right? The original shelf that was like this high. Oh, the one that you used to bang your head on all yeah, the time. Yeah, I've kept it. it. Yeah. Can we do a little DIY on that and bring it back to life? Yeah, I was gonna recycle it. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. It's gonna look epic. Don't you think? Yeah, it is. It's gonna look epic. Okay, let's get it ordered. I'm going to be using the Bunnings kitchen design service to have my concepts drawn up for this kitchen. I have done a couple of sketches already because I've got a pretty good idea of what I want for my cabinetry and how I want this kitchen to actually function. I'm going to be customizing caboodle cabinetry so I'm working with Bunnings to make sure I get all the right measurements and that I order the right sizes, modules and specifications that are the best fit for this space. What I would say though if you're designing your own kitchen is that make sure you have all your measurements and that you know what appliances are going into your space. So I have chosen all new Electrolux appliances. I've got an integrated dishwasher, microwave, oven, and fridge. I sent all of those measurements off to Bunnings to make sure the cabinetry was going to be a perfect fit. So if you're designing your own kitchen, make sure you come prepared. The more information you have, the better. grab some samples from Bunnings because I'm going to be designing using a caboodle kitchen. So I've got a couple of different options here. I was playing around with the idea of bringing in some green, but I've moved away from that now. It's dead to me. I'm actually going to go a little bit more neutral. So I've actually decided on, this is crema sala. I describe it as a warm gray. And with that, I also want to bring in this timber. So this is spiced oak. I love the way that these tones work with the floorboards and also the wall colors. So we are doing Sago, Dulux wash and wear on all of the walls, the same as we've got in the living room and all of the upstairs area. I want to bring in some brass pieces. So I'm actually choosing a low and co handles. I'm gonna be using exactly the same handle for both the base cabinets and the wall cabinets. So for my bench tops, I'm gonna to be using topaz concrete. This is Caesar stone, so it's an engineered stone. I absolutely 
absolutely love this. There's such a beautiful warm texture to this. There's so much texture in this bench top that I wanted to do something quite simple for the tiles. So this is actually a vanilla tile. It's sort of an off-white. It's even got some gray undertones as well. So this is called the Albert Park Vanilla. It's a subway tile and it's from Tile Cloud. I'm gonna be doing this offset brick pattern. Very traditional, very simple. I'm gonna be bringing in some more brass, especially in the door handles. So this is actually a brushed brass. This is from Iva. Now I'm not getting a new door technically, but there is a door that I want to repurpose downstairs because it is getting demolished down there. So I actually wanna bring that upstairs. That will get freshly painted. I'm gonna be doing natural white for the trim. So that will be in the Dulux Aqua Enamel. This is one of the brackets that I want to use for open shelving. Ugh, I love that against that color on the walls. That is absolutely beautiful. We'll then have timber accents on those shelves. So I'm gonna bring in gold because why not? What I actually want to do is introduce some of these. They're essentially towel rails. So these are from Reese, but I thought I'd bring some of these in to use for holding utensils, that sort of thing. To make that a functional utensil holder, I'm gonna be adding in these S hooks. So these are brass and do you know what? These are actually quite difficult to find. Jono found these for me on eBay. Okay, so this is our base that we're working with. We've got a lot of beautiful warm neutrals, lots of earthy texture and tones, but I am quite conscious of the fact that I am gonna be giving this a modern makeover. So I want to make sure it still has a wonderful feeling of nostalgia because there is a lot of history in this room. So I can do that by adding in key pieces. I wanna bring back a lot of pieces that pre-existed in this kitchen before. So this is a beautiful vessel. I wanna bring in a lot of these earthy tones Things like terracottas are beautiful, warm, earthy, oranges, very nostalgic, very 70s. And from there to help that feeling of warmth as well, I might add in a rug. So this is a sample I'm looking at at the moment. So I like that hemp detail. I think it's also gonna be important though to freshen it up with a lot of white pieces because I have got a lot of off whites and cream. So I think white will help to freshen and kind of cut through this color palette. I do love a little classic stripe and maybe even some green as well to pick up on the green theme that I've got running through some of the other areas in the home. So that right there guys, that is our kitchen and just quietly, I'm loving it. Are you winning? We are. Are you? So while I'm in kitchen heaven, Jono's in cabinetry hell. So what's happened? Have we got a kitchen? Looks like it. Start of one. Okay, good job. Kitchen update. Take a bow, John Rod. Can I just say, it doesn't look like much now, <laughs> but you've done a lot of work in here. You guys did a really, really, really good job here. So mm. well done for making a larger, taller cavity for the oven, which is hiding in here. <sighs> Don't want to give too much Fancy away. Fancy new oven. It's being protected. Oh, well, not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I didn't scratch it, it's fine. It's very straight. Well, that's good because we try and make things straight where we can. I know, but I actually, whilst I didn't like the small pokey oven cavity that we had before, what I did like was their cute little arch. So, hear me out, okay? Yeah. Could we arch this? Could we add like curves? So, could we create some kind of archway here? Not really because we've already built it. But couldn't we add something to create the illusion that uh, it was done that way. You're adding a shelf, right? There will be a shelf. All right. We'll do something with the shelf then. Basically want to look at this and I don't want to see this. All I right. don't want right angles. I want a nice soft. Okay, leave it with me. I'll arch. work something out. Okay. Let me show you the size of our new fridge. It is literally two and a half Lucy's. No, I'd call that three. Is it three Lucy's? 
that's a big damn fridge. <laughs> I mean, seriously. The fridge will sit out a little bit in order to be able to open the doors. But before, do you remember? It was it like stuck half out about, the fridge was sticking out. I reckon more than half. Exactly. So, Johnny, you've got quite a bit to do in here and I'll help you as best I can. But you've got to get these caboodle cabinets up and sorted, don't you? Yeah, we've only built about half of them. We've got to build all of the ones. We're going floor to ceiling. Yeah. 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 Maxing it out. Okay. I believe in you. You're going to do great. Kitchen. How long has it taken you to assemble the kitchen so far? A couple of weeks. But yeah. How many days actual working? Yeah. Probably three full days with two people. But it's looking good now. We've got most of the doors on. We've got stone coming Tuesday. Once the stone's on, it's done. And then it's just adjust all the doors so they're all sit flush. I haven't done all the adjustments, just little tweaks. Some of the drawers just need to be tilted a little bit. A couple of doors can go on. I've got to cut out the hole for the range hood, get that stuff in. We've got to fix it off. We've got these little 150 cabinets, little skinny ones. Yeah, they're kind of cute. And if pass them to the wall. I've used every cupboard. Like, I've got stuff stored. And everyone, oh, we've done these things as well. Have you seen these yet? Oh, what? Jono. Pull out baskets. You have been busy. Yeah. Oh, but there's the rest of them, they're not yet oh, done. Okay, you've got work to do. All right, well, what are you going to do now? Are you going to sort out the range hood? Uh, um, maybe, yeah. It's I a think bit of a messy job. Let's turn cut. that maybe into a yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you did all sorts of weird measurements like this. This thing is off the wall by that far, whatever that is, like 160 something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All of those little fine little measurements to get everything to line up mm. just took forever working out what to cut. In my defense, I did it because it looks great. Am I right? So yes, I did customize this within an inch of its life because Caboodle do have set sizing. So I just wanted to make sure I got the look that I wanted. So we have battened things out. Jono's had to do a lot of work. And yes, it was a lot of work up front, Jono, but aren't you glad that I did this design because it looks so, not so... <laughs> I'm not glad yet because I haven't finished. Your face is like, I hate you. <laughs> Let's do a plan. I'm going to finish the painting. I need to cut around in here. You're going to do the range hood and then let's literally get this kitchen clean, sorted, ready for the stone to come in. All right, let's go. the Coco Mini Pendant from Coco Flip and I'm very very pumped because it's now looking like a kitchen. So we've got power, we've just hooked up the oven, Coxie's working on that now. Coxie, give us some advice because this is a very old house and we've done a massive upgrade. Yeah. So we went to three phase because yeah. we've got a lot in this house. So we've got- We've got a big oven with induction cooktop. We've got split system aircon and heating. We've got underfloor heating. We've got all sorts of things going on and the power demand rose dramatically, but we're still energy efficient across the board with lighting and other things. We've got solar hot water. We've got LED efficient lighting throughout the house. No more incandescent bulbs anywhere. Insulation throughout to keep the heating in and the cool out. Is the aircon like your biggest drawer of power? The aircon can be the biggest drawer of power. So okay. here we've got quite a big unit. We've got a 10 and a half kilowatt split system that does heating and cooling. And that is quite a big demand just on site. Yeah, okay but very excited to have it. Am I right? No more oil heaters all around oh on the floor. Oh my God. Yeah. No more heaters in Aircon's every bedroom. Aircon's just a game changer. Yeah. Like, I just don't think you could do an upgrade without having aircon. It's, it's, it's a very good upgrade to do. 
<laughs> this is like the only sexy thing about electricity. Sorry, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> the fittings and literally the light switches. Brackets. You like? I like. How good is that? Very fancy. I'm probably going to do, I want two. And then your second one goes the same. One and a half in. But then that means the shelf pretty much is. I would put your shelf to that. Yeah, okay. And to that line there as well, just short of the window no, frame. No, it would be even. It has to be even overhang either side. Don't agree. I agree. That's Don't. exactly what I'm saying. I, you I agree, agree with yourself. I, I agree with me. I am. Oh <laughs> I'm really tired. Do you think we should do 1.2? Should no. we agree on 1.2? No. Oh, okay. Don't no. just pull a number out of the air. Okay. Let me grab the <laughs> tape measure and work it out. One, this is 1.2. No. 1. That's not how you work it out. Look, it's great. 1.2. You've got a tile detail that finishes here. You've got a hard edge that finishes here. Tile finishes here. I would make the shelf exactly that. $13.95. I'd butt it up in here, I'd line it up with that, and I'd line it up with that. That would look the neatest. And I wouldn't worry about, I would put your bracket in the center of that, and I'd put it in the center of that. It's gonna be a tiny bit more overhang on this side than that side, just from where the lines end, but that won't matter, because at least the bracket will be center of the VJ panel. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> Happy with the length of your shelf? Yes, that, I was right. Did those calculations work out for you? Mine did, yes. No, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tease me. All right, but it doesn't matter. Are you happy with it? Yes, I'm happy. Thank you All very right, much. So now we just have to quickly sand it, get them super smooth, give them a coat of clear. Yeah. And then we'll put them up. Cool. You do Probably that. Probably put them up first thing in the morning when they're dry. We'll yeah. have to give them two coats. That's our dog. He's saying, please walk me. But you do that and I'm going to work on the oven shelf. Okay? All right. All right. Cool. So we've got rid of that nasty shelf that was very much head height. And we've got a much bigger cavity now for our oven. Very epic oven with induction cooktop. This is from Electrolux. Much bigger space. But I am actually going to repurpose that shelf because I did kind of like it. I liked the curve. So this was actually one of the brackets. This is looking like something out of Game of Thrones at the moment. So we're going to have to denail that guy. But I like the curves on it. What I want to do is actually strip it back, sand it back, repaint it so it's matching in the rest of our trim. I'll make it a little bit smaller and I'll also probably bring the shelf uh, depth in a little bit as well. So it's a little bit neater. And I wanted to create a nice arch homage to the previous oven. So basically, we're redoing the old, but making it brand new, way better, way bigger.
these open shelves. I really like having open shelves actually in the kitchen because it allows you a place for styling and you get to bring a bit more personality into the kitchen. And speaking of personality, I was quite conscious of trying to create a nostalgic look in this kitchen, but also aware that it is a completely new modern kitchen. So I'm actually bringing in a few key pieces or bringing back, I should say, because these were actually here originally. So this is a beautiful 70s teapot. Little things like, you know, holders for your toast. I've got wine coolers with terracotta, another beautiful jug even this wonderful vessel as well. I really like the earthy tones of that. I've just popped some dried natives in there. Um, things like burnt sort of amber brown colored glasses, they're great to create a really nice warm interior. So I'm gonna bring back a couple of these older pieces, but I'm also mixing it in with some of these new pieces as well. I like the freshness of the, of the white, but also the terracotta. So I've got a few things, old and new, I'm gonna mix them around and make these look beautiful. obsessed with this kitchen. It is such a good transformation, like very satisfying. We've actually got full depth cupboards now. We did open it up a lot. The caboodle cabinetry worked so incredibly well. I swear to God that Bunnings designer had no idea what had hit him when I turned up. Talk about customization. Yeah, they did such a good job bringing my ideas to life and actually making them work within their system and I could not be happier. That wall of cabinetry is a game changer. Full depth. Not only were you able to get a fridge in there, Jono, but you made a space for like one of the biggest, most pimping fridges of all time. <laughs> like It's the biggest fridge I could find. Oh my God, that <laughs> is like so, so good. There was, I found another compartment the other day. There's like little hidden yeah, little storage things like hiding away is just so yeah, smart. So good. But yeah, the drawers are really handy because the freezer's at the bottom, but you've got two freezer drawers, but one you can use set as a freezer or a fridge. Yeah, I thought so that was really smart. We've just got it set as a fridge. Yeah, you can just choose what you yeah. want. That doesn't happen every day. So that was pretty oh, cool. It's bloody good. And I also love on that side, that breakfast bar. Like that <laughs> is just being able to add more bench space, have more prep area. It really is a functional space now. Get some PowerPoints over there. Yeah. You put your toaster. Exactly. And I love the way we've got that built-in lighting underneath mm -hmm. the wall cabinets that lights up the tiles beautifully and also brings out the color of that stone. Very dark little space when you start yeah. putting above cabinets above a bench space. Having the lighting was really so important. The lighting was made a big difference in there. Yeah. That's good. And there's just so much more storage, way more space, pantry space than there was before. So that left side, very practical. That's yeah. like the working horse. And then essentially that L shape we kept, very similar to what was there before. We just made it way better by opening that up. So with that L shape, I love how that stone waterfalls down the edge. That is just very much a hero of that space. And I really wanted it to do that in order to elevate those interiors, to really draw your eye towards that beautiful warm stone. And that way it really creates a wonderful space of both dining with the seating with the bar stools on one side but then you've got the prep area on, on the other. I love those two feature pendants that are hanging above that island, those mini cocoa flip pendants. They were in off-white and they've got the most wonderful addition of timber and I just really like those smooth soft curves. The brass handles from Low & Co, I really like the fact that we were consistent with those across the cupboards and the drawers. They just kind of pimp it up to the next level and they work really well against both that timber and that cremasala. That sink, that is a really special place to be in the kitchen, to be honest with you, looking out over that front garden. It is so impressive. You've got that beautiful white double basin from Reese, which is just 
like knockout. It's got a beautiful texture to it and it plays so nicely with the pimping. Gold, zip tap, all in one. Yeah. I mean, boiling water, filtered cold water, filtered cold bubble water, we call it. <laughs> That's all I drink. I don't drink normal water anymore. Yeah, you'd be... <laughs> <laughs> you literally don't. But I actually really like the shape of that tab. It's good. It's, it's got very a lovely elegant. detail. It's very yeah, big. it's very big. I almost didn't fit it in between the bowl. Oh, don't tell me that. Thing. I'm it glad only you just got it fit. in. It's, it's got a bigger base than a normal... Um, mixer well it's huge it does more than your it's average cool. mixer yeah but that's a really lovely area of the kitchen it's a beautiful moment i was tossing and turning about the microwave where to put it should i hide it away in the end i chose to have more accessible kind of space for food and for pantry items but i did choose to have the microwave open like that but i like the way that we brought that shelf down to kind of sit just above it so we've kind of just really made that tower essentially work what was your biggest challenge in designing the kitchen? Was it the fact that we had to put four rubbish bins? <laughs> yes, that annoyed me actually quite a lot. Um, but I <laughs> did what you said and I gave you four bins. It was more about making sure I maximised the space as much as possible. I did a lot of measuring, like a lot, because we were, you know, ripping down some of the existing wall cladding. Essentially. Yeah, and we were making things a lot bigger. Speaking of making things a lot bigger though, that oven cavity, it's come out really well. Oh, it's way better than what it was. So we made better. it, we only made it a little bit wider, but we lifted that you made it a lot awkward wider. headspace. No, you made it a lot wider. Yeah. We fit a 900 oven from Electrolux in it. Yeah. And that's one of the best ovens ever. Yeah. We've got the same one at home. That it's oven so is good. pimping. What I love about that area, that tiled splashback, it's on all three sides. I really love that range hood now that's hidden with that repurposed shelf. I love and that arch, arch detail. detail. Yay! Yeah. Did you come around to the arch <coughs> detail? Yeah, when it was finished. <laughs> but it looks Another so thing to good, make. doesn't it? Works. It? Yeah, it works. And the it's light good. from that range hood just picks up beautifully again with the tiles and the stone. And I love the addition of those tower rails, those Sussex tower rails from Reese. Good. I'm actually really happy with how that new door looks. The new old door. The new old door that was once downstairs. Yeah, we pulled it out from downstairs. We yeah, saved it. it's so much better. Yeah, there's a lot of light comes in there and it's just greenery outside. You yeah. can't, yeah, you don't really even see the neighbor. It's perfect. And the one thing that your mum said to me about this kitchen was that she really wanted to have open shelving. And I also love the addition of open shelves because they allow you to add a lot more things on display, which means you can bring a lot more color and personality into a space. So those shelves look beautiful. We've they done a couple well. of them, obviously the one above the oven and then the ones to the side of the sink. It's just, I don't know, I loved all those terracotta pieces. And the width, the fresh white. what do you think about the width of the shelves? Oh gosh, okay. I think you were spot on, Jono. Is that what uh, you want me uh, to say? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, Move know. on. <laughs> they would have looked weird if they weren't the full width. They do look good. Yeah. I've got to say my favourite part of that kitchen is sitting on those bar stools. So those beautiful Tondina bar stools from Baseline. Sitting there, probably the one closest to the wall, and just being able to look through both the kitchen living, dining, just having kind of an access point to that entire upper level. That's probably my favorite place to be in that kitchen. But I really love the fact that the kitchen is very much the heart of the home. It is the central point of this upstairs and the way it now connects through from the living to the dining. This was very much kind of where the whole design was leading to. And I think, I think we've done incredibly well. We did good. We did very good. Yeah, did good you, kitchen. Yeah. Oh, there's so much to do. I'm freaking out. I've got very fond memories of this living room. This was actually where I first met your parents. Do you remember this? No. Say I like painting once. Now I find myself Full painting time this painting you. whole damn house. And I tried to do that, but I kind of just can't. Like I can't not put colour in things. That's a bottom vase and I love it. You know how heavy it is? 
It's not a it's big stone. coffee. It's <laughs> It's not big, but it probably weighs Sorry. 100 kilo. It's so uh, heavy. Sorry. I like this idea. I think no, this is a cure. No, I think I want to keep. What? Yeah. What do the cockies have to say? Kill it. No, they didn't say kill it. They said keep it. Okay, good job. Are we winning? What's the question? Enthusiasm is low. It's midnight. You want the shelf to go in? Yes, please. All right. Have you got all the tools that you need? You do. Here are the tools you'll need. And I'm here for moral support and leveling advice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. see if you can get it level. All right. 